They've reopened Patterson Pass Road, one of my favorite roads after working on it for multiple months. So I'm on my way to check that out. Ah, fucking hay. Hay is for horses. But it's pretty obvious what happened to my bike exactly. Obviously it's working perfectly now. And this isn't going to be a video like uh, how to or anything. It's just going to be a little discussion. It's not going to be a tutorial. There's a bunch of those online you can find. And I really don't have much to show you <laughs> except for a few pictures that I took while actually working on the bike. But it's pretty obvious, I blew the rectifier and actually, <laughs> while I was riding it, I, I mean, you, you just sort of expect it with these bikes. It's such a common problem. And there's a couple of do's and don'ts that I kind of wanted to, you know, convey to anybody else who's having similar problems to what I had. As we just fucking trudge along behind this goddamn U-Haul truck. So as I said in my first video about the problems my bike was having was uh, basically when it's something electrical it narrows it down to three things the battery, the stator, or the regulated rectifier. Um, something that you want to do if you're having electrical problems is and you hit electrical problems on a, G, a GSXR 600 or 750 namely uh, something you want to do is just assume it's the rectifier. <laughs> you can also check the battery, that's not a hard thing to check, or get it tested if you have a place to do that. But, just assume it's the rectifier, and if you've never replaced it before, replace it and move it to a different spot. Because it's just going to keep burning out every single time you replace it if you just put it back in the same spot. It's it's stock, stock it's put in a dumb spot. <laughs> Suzuki fucked up on that front. That's a fact. So that's exactly what I did. I moved it into the airbox of the actual bike and it's really not a hard thing to do. There is a tutorial online uh, which doesn't have to be followed exactly to the T, but uh, it's a good uh, guidance video to watch. You can just look that up. Wow, this is how I like my roads. stator and pull the stator cover off to check the coils of the stator. There's a way to check and see if it's the stator without having to take the stator cap off, uh, which I definitely recommend doing in, instead of just taking the cap off because when you take the cap off, so much oil comes out. <laughs> you basically have to change your oil after it. Luckily I was already planning on doing that when I did it. I was planning on doing that when I did it, so it worked out all right for me, but also the way that comes off, there's a lot of mechanical parts you can mess up, and you also have to change the gasket that's for the stator cover, so it's just a lot of unnecessary work when you can just check the voltage that the stator is putting out, uh, and it's a lot easier that way. Once again, there's a video for that somewhere. <laughs> so you can test your battery. Uh, and you can test the regular rectifier, but honestly, just assume it is and change that bitch to the dumb spot. In fact, even if it's not blown, just change it because you don't want to get stuck on the side of the road. Or not just change it, just change it and move it. Well, if it's not broken, then don't change it and move it.
take your stator cap off unless your stator is the problem. No. And do properly test to find out exactly what the problem is. Or just assume it's the regular rate of fire like I would do. So I just thought I'd throw those tips out there, be it I just changed my regulator rectifier and moved it and messed up along the way and I've learned from it so I might as well convey that learning experience to anybody who wants to know. But anyway, that's all I have to say. Keep a lookout for my next video. It's going to be pretty awesome. I just experienced something that was unlike anything I've ever experienced. So watch out for that. It's going to be cool. And always remember to keep the sticky side down. Have a good one. YouTube.com slash C slash sticky side down official. I can do a whole bunch of stuff, and that's exactly what I'm doing right now. I have